getting ready for corn harvest today. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today's your first uh, time watching our channel. Uh, please hit the subscribe button if you like this video, if you enjoy it. Hit the like button. And today marks the first day of uh, harvest for the 2020 growing season. And uh, we're excited, we got a few kinks to work out, but uh, we ended up rolling on pretty well today and stay tuned for the rest of it. Enjoy. We're going to take that 8430 and put it on this setup here. 750 J and M grain cart. Um, this 8285 won't have a problem pulling it, but these tanks are on it and we're not gonna take them off. And they're just a little wide. That's it. This tractor has spacers. And they, those stick out a good bit farther than the spacers, which is, I don't know, three foot wider than the buggy itself. So no, no need in being any wider than you have to be. Right here is our implement haul and trailer mover, implement mover, whatever. Turn the gas on, it might help. Yeah, this implement trailer is uh, really handy. Not quite as quick as an actual hunter trailer would be, but where we're going, we're gonna move twice um, and while we're cutting corn. Uh, so I'm gonna drop it off at one place. We don't have a, a trailer for it yet, we just bought the header. Um, we're gonna move, we're gonna pick the, put the header, take the header off the combine two times. Wants to move. And once when we get done cutting corn, all our corn is in two two locations that won't take won't take a lot of moving. So that'll be easy. So instead of buying a eight thousand dollar, ten thousand dollar header trader this year, right now, we're gonna cut the corn. Just move it around twice of this thing. It takes maybe 30 seconds to a minute to hook up each time. Not even that long if you got some help. Uh, back up straight up to it, lift it up, same different setting it down. This right here is the hydraulic. 
say cylinders right here. Pick it up, spin it around, these levers, and uh, once it gets to a certain height, that's the only thing that's a little bit slow on it. Just picking it up. Um, not a lot of flow coming from that small tank, but a little hydraulic motor there. But it's working. All the way, that's where we move all our uh, 12 row planters, hippers, do all things like that, three more heat stuff. Yeah, 12 row stuff is too, too wide to get up and down the road, especially where we're at, most places anyway. So it's high enough now. I'm going to. Swing it around. Here, just a little wheel and bracing it running on that track. This cylinder is pulling it in, it's rotating all the way around. The only thing you got to watch for, not so much on this, but uh, number one doesn't clear that. I believe it's going to. And what are you going to swing and hit <clears throat> uh, out around you? So I may have to pick it up just a little bit more. I don't have a whole lot. Uh, I think I'm clear. All right, we're all the way around with it. And took it all the way up. And to lock it in place. Pull this out. Pop that up. Sort of locked in place, a little safety stop. So it's a cylinder was to drop. Yeah. And that's why we use this instead of instead of getting ahead of each other. This corner's yielding pretty well. That's an irrigation reservoir that we run that pivot off of. Uh, this is higher ground we've been on so far. Not quite at the 200 bushel acre mark, but almost. Uh, we're working our way into some uh, better ground as we move towards that tree line to the right and it should get better. We're calibrating the uh, yield monitor right now. It's we're just kind of adding up weights of trucks and how many loads per acre. So it's looking pretty good. There's that pivot. We did not turn it on at all this year. Uh, very rare for a corn crop to 
Might have ever turned the pivot on. It just stayed so wet during the growing season. But another truck down. All right, that wraps up day one. Gonna call it a day. Hit it again tomorrow. We've got several hundred acres left of corn to cut, but the beans, as you can tell a few days out from spraying a bunch of those and then then it'll be wide open for sure we'll have both combines running we may eventually run them both before we finish the rest of this corn um, start defoliating cotton we got a busy busy september and uh next couple weeks rest of the fall so stay tuned we'll have many more episodes out soon <laughs>